I have um, disconnected the battery to the load and I just have the timer on and you can see it's 27.6 percent duty cycle 1.347 kilohertz okay very steady now um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and connect it the battery and you can already see that the timing signal sees the oscillation that's because the oscillation is really there now okay and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect it from the gate and I'm going to connect the probe directly across the shunt and if I zoom in on the shunt here's the uh, waveform change that trigger a little bit so there's what the shunt looks like you can see that kilohertz, it's kind of hard to see, but it's about 60 kilohertz. 75% duty cycle is what that's showing. Okay, so that's the shunt. Full oscillation, it's not setting at zero. Okay, and what I'll do now is I'll hook it across the load. And the volts, by the way, are across the shunt, about 260 millivolts. Now here's, the, here's what we have on the load. Take just a second to... Okay, there's the load. Uh, full oscillation. You can see it's settling above zero. And I could bring this down so we can see the numbers, but 97% um, is what that's showing is that it's on at 63.45 kilohertz. Okay, and if I change it to uh, so you can see the RMS. RMS is about 70. And the shunt voltage is about 250 or so at all these settings. Oh, and right now ambient is 23.8 Celsius, load 55.8. And I'm just going to let it sit and climb a little bit. These batteries are kind of beat down. Uh, batteries are at 20.46. So anyway, um, uh, let's see. Now that looks like it's settling on zero, but it's really not, because if I increase it here, it's not settling at zero. So, so anyway, that's the load right there. Um, everything looks good.